Okay, here's a friendly reminder. You are enough. You are. And success will come. It will. You have to trust that it will, but you have to do a different thing also. <clears throat> you have to spend time being aware that if you do it just like everybody else, you're going to end up looking, sounding, feeling, smelling, tasting just like everybody else. And that's no way to stand out. You need to stand out. You do. You deserve it. There's only one you. And if you embrace and accept my attaboy toward you that you are enough and success will come, you have to understand also that the way it's going to come is by being original and authentic. You can't do it if you simply spew forth with all of the strategic manipulative scripts. It won't happen. Then it'll be harder. <laughs> Everything you pay attention to in your life has an aura of unique. And what's more, it also feels authoritative and confident and unusual and polarizing. No one cares if you try to be too nice. Now, I'm not saying be mean. Although some people, you know, get off on that, but I don't. It's not my thing. But what I am saying is, you have been told that the way to do it is to follow these scripts. If you just follow exactly what I'm going to show you to the T, you will do fine. And no, you won't do fine. There's too many people doing that stuff. And they're not doing fine. So the whole idea here is to not be arming yourself with the normal, normally normness. <laughs> The idea is actually to accept the task of discovering and unleashing your own. I offer outlines to people so that they can actually make them their own. Then you discover what it is that you want to be and who you are and what you want to say and why you believe in it. That, that's empowering. That's what is going to turn you into you, the biggest, most profound version of you. Okay. Just remember this. You're enough. And your success will come. You have to work at it. And you have to work toward doing it your own way. Speak soon.